Hi guys, I'm back for some more reviews. Um, I am sorry about I keep changing the background on you. I keep going into different places of my house and um, I just keep trying to get the lighting right and I can't get the lighting right and um, I try and film during the daytime and I just don't have a lot of time so I can't work with daylight half the time and um, I've been trying to do that but I haven't. Um, and getting the lighting right is just crazy because I am filming this off of my laptop so um, because this is just an idea that I thought would be helpful for people and I wanted to see if it actually um, if I get some good feedback from it then I'll keep doing it I don't want to splurge on a camera or anything until I really know if it's like a good thing and I'm helping people and people are liking it so um, if you do like it remember to like my videos and tell your friends and the people that you know uh, that will find this helpful alright so the first thing I wanted to review today was the rolling pin that I actually um, used because last week I reviewed a rolling pin that broke on me and I hate. Um, so I thought it would be nice to tell y'all which one I am using right now. Um, the one that I'm using right now is just a 14 inch um, rolling pin. Not 14. It's a 12 inch rolling pin. Um, the one that broke on me was the Wilton 16 inch and I really really like the link length of that. But um, I didn't have time to go looking for another 16 inch, like order it online. So I just ran to Target and um, I picked up this one. It is um, a metal non-stick surface and um, it's made by OXO. Don't know who that is. But if you can see this, it has these um, elevated or curved handles so that they always stay up. They're weighted to where they always stay up. And so your knuckles and your hands don't hit the surface like the countertop when you're rolling. It's really, really nice. And um, I have actually found these online and um, you can find them in the 16 inch. But again, I didn't have time and really this works for me so I haven't gone out and splurged on a 16 inch one. Um, but I really, really like this one. And I think it was either 20 or $30. I mean, you can't beat that. It's, it's a really good rolling pin. I never have any issues of it sticking to the fondant. Um, I mean, of course, I still have to put either cornstarch or powdered sugar or something down, um, but I don't have to like pack a ton of it on, and it's still, and it, I never really have a problem with it. Um, so the next thing that I wanted to review was this spatula. It's an icing spatula. Um, it has this nice big handle, and it's pink. I don't know if you can see that. Again, my lighting is crazy. Um, but it's big and round for you to grip and that's why I got it. I found this at Walmart down the um, the cake aisle and it was just like kind of on ha hanging on one of those little things. Um, the extra thing. Um, so I don't actually know who this is by but I've seen them in almost every Walmart I've gone into. And um, But I thought I would like this because of the grip on it. I thought it would be nice. But actually it really hurts my hands when I try and hold on to something this big. Um, I guess maybe my hands are too small. I do have really small hands. But for me, holding on to it is just, it hurts your hand after a while when you're spreading. And um, it I just don't like it at all. And it is like extremely flimsy. So um, I don't know. I just feel like it's not durable. I don't, I don't like it. It hurts my hands. Um, I just use a normal icing spatula now. Um, and normally I use the big one, but this one is kind of the small one. And um, But sometimes I, I need to use the small one. Um, I had a little smash cake that I had to do this weekend. And I had to have the small one for it. So I used my other one with my not so big handle. So if you see these and you think, oh cool, like I did, I would recommend not buying them because it really does hurt your hand. And I never ever use it now. I might as well just like throw it out. And the next thing that I have to review is these. These are called tappets and they get those little like the squiggly letters really feminine squiggly letters that you see on cakes. Um, there's These are four of them. There's actually five in my set. I don't know where the other one is right now. But if you can see that there's an L and a K J. I mean there's all those little ones. Um, so they get that, night, that really cute squiggly lettering um, here's the others. Alright, now these are called tappets. Um, I got these online. I don't remember what website I got them from, but if you just Google tappets, like a million places will come up. Um, 
The reason why they are called tappets is because once you press them down into your fondant, the little letter sticks in there and you have to tap it really hard on the counter to actually get that letter to come out. And a lot of the times, um, that method will make them break off because they are like really skinny. So um, it'll make them break off and I mean, it, this can be a real big pain in the butt, but I think it's worth it because the letters are just so cute and you see these letters everywhere and this is what the people are using and I've seen a lot of reviews on these where um, people said that they tapped it so hard because these are just like plastic like that they're plastic so people tap them so hard that they like broke in half so I mean I don't recommend doing that and I don't I try not to do that with mine I try not to tap mine a lot really Sometimes when it's getting to the end of the night and I'm just getting tired, I'll start tapping just to get them unstuck a little bit. And then I'll take a toothpick and like kind of get them up with the toothpick and like go all the way around them and stuff. Um, but I mean, pain in the butt or not, I think I think most little letter cookie cutters are a pain in the butt because the bonnet always sticks in there. But again, like my last review on my tiny little cookie cutters, um, I just prefer to roll my fondant out as thin as I can get it, use lots of cornstarch and get it like super dry. Like I will let it sit for um, like five minutes before I even start trying to press these into it. And um, it, it seems to work for me. And I mean there's some letters where I will have to try probably three or four times. But I mean again in the end I think it is worth it and I like the look of it. So um, it just takes a little bit of extra time. So if you don't want to go through all of that and you just want some simple letters, um, I have these and I put them in my own little Ziploc bag because they came in like this cellophane bag but no like storage container so I just keep them in here. But um, these are just little block letters and they're just little cookie cutter block letters. And I mean these are kind of um, big, If I mean let's let's compare. So if you're comparing the letters to the tappets is smaller, more feminine, but I will use these on um, boys cakes, guys cakes, men's cakes, um, just because they are more masculine. And um, the tappets are a lot more feminine, so I have never used a tappet on um, a guys cake, but I know that they do make different font styles, which is really good for those tappets. Um, they have different fonts and these are all uppercase so you can get them in lowercase too um, I just haven't felt the need to get it so I haven't done that but um, these are all uppercase as well and I got these off of Amazon they're just like block cookie cutters you can type that on Amazon and I think this actually came from Amazon so it didn't come from an actual company that I can tell you to go on their website and look it up um, but they're plastic and I mean they're sturdy and I've used these for uh, cookies as well and they worked out really good. Um, I just like these a lot. So for girls I got these little tablets and these tablets were I think they were about 15 to 20 dollars so good investment and then I think these were like five bucks. So it's up to you if you want the feminine letters and again they have different fonts and these letters actually come with um, numbers as well. So, see there's like um, the Y and the Z and then it starts the numbers down here and uh, the next one that I have has all the other ones. Um, so these have numbers too and these letter ones, these black letter ones do not come with numbers. So I kind of wish they did. And I might be looking on Amazon for some black letters soon because I'm thinking I need them. So. Alright, so that is all that I have to review today. Um, only a little bit of stuff, but um, I didn't have a too busy of a weekend. Um, so I don't have a lot of stuff that I used. Um, I did use my edible glitter that I talked about last week this weekend, and the people loved it. And I used it on uh, little gum paste accents where I knew they weren't going to eat it. And um, they loved it and it was an outside party and it was for two twin little girls and so it really really sparkled and I really liked the effect so um, I stand by my review of last week's so um, don't forget to check out my Facebook uh, page below I will link that below and don't forget to comment on things that you want me to review 
and don't forget to subscribe or like this video. Alright, I will be back later for some more reviews. Thanks, bye!